Welcome to Face the Camera. This is where we take the tough questions and we make them easy. Joining me tonight is Mr. Bo Mani and Mr. Fred Jones. Number eight, Arkansas lost to Louisiana Monroe in overtime on Saturday evening, falling from the top 25 and putting John L. Smith on the hottest seat in college football. He has a 10 month contract. The question for tonight is, by the time the viewers see this video, will John L. Smith have a job? Well, I don't know. 20 years ago, Jack Crow lost to the Citadel on Saturday and got fired on Sunday. But just because somebody didn't make an impulsive decision on Sunday doesn't mean they can't make one on Tuesday or Wednesday or hell, halftime of the next game. My question for this is, does Louisiana Monroe have to pay back that cupcake money that they get to come play a lay down home game? I mean, other teams were getting a running clock in the second half, kept their guys fresh and injury free. Uh, Louisiana Monroe is taking the money and the win. What's yeah, that? Louisiana Monroe was the bully, kicked their asses and took their money from them. But guess what? A real bully shows up Alabama this week. Well, Alabama had this happen to them, actually, if I as I was told by our research guy, I don't keep track of these things, but in Nick Saban's first year, Louisiana Monroe stuck it to him. How did that work out for Nick Saban? Yeah, but Nick, Nick Saban had a contract. John L. Smith, all he's got is a timesheet. I think Arkansas needs to be proactive. They have got a chance to make history. Take this negative. Get rid of John L. Smith. They can hire Paul Haynes, the defensive coordinator. They could promote Tabor Johnson, the assistant head coach. Turn that negative into box checking history. Now is the time. You're right on with that one, Mr. Monty. They can do just like North Carolina did. You don't want to hire your first ever African American coach in the football program's history without a contingency plan to get him out of the Oh, no, no, no. Don't get comfortable. Yeah. Go ahead and get him there with the exit plan already in place, and you've got your first African American coach. Take yeah, care of yeah. I think that's a great point. Yeah, they're just here to clean up what's going on here. John L. Smith needs to be. Be careful, though. You may not know this, but bright and early Sunday morning, Frank Broyles was back at the facility for the first time in who knows how long. If Jeff Long wouldn't fire John L. Smith, then by golly, he'd do it himself. That's true. I, w I wonder what Bobby Petrino thinks about all this. Oh, my neck is so sore from sleeping on this couch, <laughs> but I'm so glad she let me in the house. Well, that's true. <laughs> that is true. All right, gentlemen, so what is the verdict? By the time the viewers see this video, will John L. Smith have a job? Oh, John L. Smith will get a job some Somewhere. <laughs> Bankruptcy. <laughs> He's the money. I'm paid to disagree, so I do. I say no job. Well, there's your tough question made easy. Thanks for tuning in to Face the Camera. Where the hell is Monroe, Louisiana, anyway? I don't know. It doesn't sound French. That's for it's in Louisiana? It must have hotter piss. Ah, blazing hot piss. Oh boy, I ain't about calling them bitches, but I don't really know what other, what other option I have in a case like this. Oh, I forgot. They, I forgot. And she's my ex-girlfriend too. Chip, that's the girl. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, at least it didn't go bad. Huh? I think good thing she didn't watch your house. Yeah. 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 Nah, she knows not to f with me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that coming. <laughs>